Hello, welcome to the Freak Show, Bumpy Makes Squiggum Zero. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Antharion. This is episode 10, and over the last week I gave away five free copies, or free Steam keys, of Antharion to various different people in various different ways and paths and all sorts of other things, provided to me by Orphix Software. And, well, hopefully the folks that got those have been enjoying Antharion as much as I have and all of you watching at home. So, that being said... We are going to try to backtrack our way through this and get to the point where we were before going down to the next level. And then it will be there that, well, hopefully we find out whatever's next. And, yeah, just kind of doing some more exploration and advancement and all sorts of other various things. It should be okay. All right, I believe it is up this way. Where the stairs down shall lead us to Oblivion, or at least to the next area. Whether that's Oblivion or something else entirely. Alright. Well, I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot right now. If you guys haven't noticed, or didn't see, or you haven't been following, I did start up a Shadowrun Hong Kong uh, LP, and I'm pretty excited to continue that. So, if you haven't seen or heard of that game yet, shame on you. And you should definitely check it out fun game. The Shadowrun games in general are just super fun and well, I'm excited to finally be able to cover one of them. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to be rocking the Antharion for a little while. Oh yeah, I could have had my torch out to see this coming, not that it really changed much. These guys a little bit scarier than the last few that we've dealt with. I'm okay with that. I'm going to come over here to the side and do a little pew pew shooty action. Bam! What? See that massive crit, folks? That was disgusting. How much damage we did there. Ooh, or we can do the Pillar of Death. That seems pretty exciting, too. Though they're not really spaced for the Pillar of Death stuff right now, so we'll just kill them off with a fireball. And just kind of chill over here. Oh, we blocked the first attack, folks. Things are looking sweet, sweet, nice style. All right, it is our turn to do some damage. The Skeletal Swordsman did manage to survive the first swing. However, the second swing... Not so fortunate for him. And there's the Pillar of Flames. Didn't actually do as much as I was hoping. I'm a little disappointed by that. Alright. And a miss and 15 hit. Pretty big, pretty nasty. Boom, but that's pretty good too. Alright, a decent attack there. We're going to go here with a Fireball and another pretty good attack. And I suppose she can kind of walk over and maybe smack him for 2 damage. Super impressive. A 14 crit, not all that impressive. 27 crit to follow it up. And victory is ours. Alright, so we're going to go down to her, and we're going to heal up him. And he's almost full health. Not quite, but he's close. He's close. Um, let's see here. There's a mushroom and some gold and a banana and some gold. Interesting. And apparently there's another door here that leads to elsewhere in the dungeon. I think this is, is this our first multi-leveled dungeon? It feels like it, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely incorrect. I feel like we have gotten a little bit stronger over time, though. I also feel like we should probably walk around with our torch, because everybody likes to see what's going on. Alright, a rock and some other various things. Unfortunately, these weapon racks have nothing that we can acquire. A couple of leaves and some arrows. I will move the arrows onto our Archerian individual. Grab those up, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so nothing really in that little area. We'll come along down this way. And I'm sure I'll miss some hidden areas, but for now, I haven't seen anything that looks 100% suspect yet. There's a lot of these weird statues here, but it doesn't seem to really do anything. Alright, that's fine. We'll continue on this way. There's blood on the walls. Apparently, somebody died over here. Or was eaten by some sort of giant monster. But that's okay. It's okay, because we are technically sort of... Not really, but probably could be considered monster hunters. And, hello, skeletal prisoner. And, oopsie. It's okay. I, we're going to swap over with you as well. We're just going to kind of not really do a whole lot this time around. We're going to soak a little bit of damage there. Move on back over here and bam. Totally miss because that's how we roll. We're going to hit him with a mug. Nope, we're going to miss with the mug. We're going to go here and boom. Big old nasty hit. Look at that. 
Our number one compatriot, our melee combatant of the ages, is actually our black magician, our black mage. Why's well, always gotta be a black mage? Well, well, we have a white mage. I mean, she she did some good too. All right. Well, down you go, sir. The victory is ours. There are shackles. They are actually quite heavy, and as you see, they are over encumbering me just now. All right. Let's open up our inventory. And the value, not really super high, so in fact, I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't feel like it's worth it. Alright, aha! We have another individual in here, ready to do combative things. But we'll be okay. Of this, I am certain. Eh, I'm a little less certain now. Alright, 83%. Boom! Get healed. Ooh! Splitting the damage, you know you're supposed to focus on one person. What are you splitting the focus for, man? Come on now. That's not how we roll. That is not how we roll at all. Alright, so everybody actually got a piece of them that time. And it looks like that should be all she wrote. And there's the shackle again. And once again we are encumbered, and we shall drop it. Alright, there's nothing really going on here. I think we could probably stand a rest for an hour. Let's just do that. We will sleep for an entire hour. And that's not bad. We didn't overdo anything. I'm cool with that. And it looks like this is a dead skeletal prisoner. Ooh, some lockpicks. I like that. Alright, I'm going to go in here. And this dude's got a club. Ow. Skeletal prisoner carrying a big old stick. He's like, speak softly, but kill people with giant clubs. Wait, that's not the, that's not the quote. It is now, son. Alright, Fireball says you just got owned pretty badly. But if she hits, and she did, and she even crit, which is pretty impressive, means that, yeah, we're actually doing quite a bit better. We're going to get the skull and the common lead ring. And we're going to leave the shackle hackles here. And this seems to actually be going into the prison somehow. Hmm. Not entirely certain of this. Oh, we can see a little bit better with the torch light. Alright, let's... Oh, that is pretty good. We'll gather up all of that. Alright, six of gold. I'm okay with these things. And a bunch of skulls. Alright. So what we're going to do now is actually go into our inventory once again. We're going to go down here. She's got 12 arrows. We're going to put them up in there. So now she's back up to 13. Which could have been bad had we actually needed the arrows and completely ran out. Alright, we're going to swap back over to him. And apparently there is a lock here that says it's easy, but with only a 38% chance, it's not that easy. We're going to keep trying. There it is. About a 1 in 3 shot. That's exactly what we were looking for. Alright, well, we're going to pick it up. It says we can right-click to identify. Uh, apparently we need 40 lore and we just simply don't have it. That is okay. There's nothing in a Volcantane IR. And... This place is very expansive. I stated this before. I shall state it again. We say no to garbage. We say no to garbage. Alright, I don't see any weird runes on the walls or anything of that nature. So I guess that's good and or bad, depending. It means that we're not missing anything. Or at least I'm not noticing that we're missing anything. But it also means that there's no extra stuff laying around that we could get fat treasure loots from. So, eh. Oh, this looks fun. Skeletal wizard, or skeleton wizard. Alright. Well, I believe the 49... Oh, and we crit. What? I am super stoked with that. Alright, we are here. We're ready. Ooh, don't close with her. Oh, gosh. I can only imagine what the wizard's going to do. Oh, blocked. Alright, can we handle this? Confused. That's not great. Yeah, it could have been worse. Alright, and attack A. Ooh, we landed that as well. Now, the problem that I'm experiencing right now is one of... Oh, a failed spell. That's not good. Alright, well, I suppose I can cast a heal on myself. Says Tamlin. Oh, she... They didn't really dodge. It's just poor hitting on their part, I suppose. And poisoned. Fantastic. 
Yes, let's continue with the poisoning, because that seems fair and awesome. Alright, and we missed. Awesome. Alright, can we pillar... No, we can't do the pillars of flames. Alright, can we land this, though? There it is. Alright, so there's going to be no more of that horrible awfulness. And... Kind of need some love here, so we'll give you some heals, too. Ouch. The bleed is real. Oh. But this guy is definitely 100% focused on our boy over there. Alright, so that's working out okay. I suppose... Eh, we'll try to kill the... Aw. Oh, boo. Alright, can we get the double flame pillar? We could. But it looks like we'll burn our own dude up, too. Eh, let's do it. It didn't hit our own guy. That's why I wanted to test it, by the way, folks. Apparently, I can do that, and it only hurts enemies and not allies. Well, that changes quite a bit, actually. I'm also curious. Can I throw a heal on one of these dudes? I mean, they're undead. You would think that it would still work that way, right? But apparently not. That's okay. This dude is just, like, hell-bent on trying to kill me. He's like, nope, and this archer's like, I don't care, there's three people between me and the uh, target of my choice. Totally fine, not a big deal. Alright, well we dropped that dude, that's totally good, and swell and right with the world. A little skeletal archery uh, murder there. And a little fireball to take you down a peg or two, and let's bonk you upside the noggin for two, two damage. Alright, we're going to get hurt a little bit more. Try to move a tad bit closer. Not quite close enough, though. Alright, we're going to swap weapons, and we're going to clobber you with our cup. Our cup runneth over. Over your face! Alright, there we go. 17 damage. And bam. And we should survive this. Yeah, he gets stabbed with an arrow. Not a big deal. The poison hurt, but it didn't hurt enough. Alright, there we go. We're going to gather up a rock and another rock, and I guess that's it. Alright, I think resting is going to be a little a little bit more important this time around. Hmm. Alright, we're going to go down to her. We're going to throw a heal up on him. And then we're going to actually try a rest. For two hours? I think that's fair. Sleep should get them back to full health. And, that's 2am now apparently. And it should allow us to have a little bit more magic for when we need it. Which is often... Always, pretty much. Pretty much every single fight we need magic, so... It is pretty impressive. Alright. Well, we learned something new, that we can actually use Pillar of Fire on our own people, and it doesn't seem to hurt, unless we were just very lucky or very unlucky and we missed. And I suppose that's a thing that could have happened, but I don't think so. Alright. Yep, apparently there are... I don't know, I just heard something creeping around in the room. So if I get attacked by some sort of Velociraptor or something, guys, you can just point at me and laugh, and I'm totally fine with it. All right, this dude's got a giant axe. I want that. Please give me that when you're done being alive, or unalive, or whatever it is. The skeleton axeman will die. Maybe. Not if we do a little baby damage like that. Come on, give him, give him a big old fireball. Oh, he resisted. Well, that's just poopy. All right, bam. What? One entire damage. Ow, 15. Not cool, man. Take the 18. Come on, cup them. Cup them. Six. Well, whatever. We're, we're going to go for the, the slow play here. Can we crit for five somehow? No, nope, we got two out of it. Can we dodge or block? Nope, not happening. And the victory is ours. And unfortunately, he didn't drop anything. So, no giant axe for us. That's unfortunate, but it's reality. We're getting a little bit closer to our level up, though. It's pretty good. Some more rocks and... Just a regular common lid necklace. Necklace. That's right, we gotta add the extra syllable in there. The necklace. Or we go all uh, Chimera style and necklace. This place is massive. What is this dungeon? My goodness. Alright, well, we found some more dead enditude and some more garbaggio that we can now drop. It doesn't give us anything at all, guys. By the way, if you guys have been living in a cave, you don't know, you're not on Twitter or following the folks over at Overhype Studios. I know I'm playing Antharion from Orphic Software, but the folks over at Overhype Studios, the Battle Brothers people, just released a massive, massive update, and the game looks amazing. I am so stoked to actually get my hands on it and play it on Season 4, so 
Yep, I'm pretty excited. I already played around with it a little bit on my own, and it looks really, really ridiculously good. Oh, the music changed. This can't be good. Oh, that dude looks angry. I think we're going to get beat up here. I wonder how much health he has. Oh, and there's an angry rat, too. Hmm. Well. Oh, crap. All right. Well, it looks like this is what's going to go down here, huh? Alright. Burn for oh, he resisted. No. Oh, he's got a lot of a lot of HP. Yikes. Alright, well, we're going to have to go and throw out some heals here. Alright, here comes the pain. They're bringing it. They have giant swords and, and polymorph necromancers. And, ooh, that was our magician guy, too. Our dark mage of death. Oh, we're still confused. That is not great. 43% is not good either. 23 on the right. Oh, come on. Ugh. Oh. This is not going well. It's okay. We'll hang in there. If our tank can actually tank, I think we'll be okay. But we'll have to see. The Necromancer is poisoning people now. That's not fantastic. Ooh, the rat bit him too. Oh, he is just getting wrecked right now. I wish he kind of had some sort of AoE spell he could just murder fools with. But we'll start with that. Back up. We're going to try to drop the rat. There it is. Hey, the Polymorph wore off. Excellent. Well, let's see if we can't... Insufficient spell points. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright, we'll, we'll kill off of the Axeman there. That's not so bad. We'll throw a heal out on you. And hopefully he can tank it. It's looking decent right now. Still not great. Oh, silence on our healer. So, that does make things a bit interesting. I'm going to take a smack on this individual. We're going to try to get away a little here. And 52% is not great. There we go. Not so bad there. Alright. Unfortunately, again, we're, we're not digging life right here. Mana potion. We're going to chug that. Let's see, it's 9 to do. There it is. And that gives us the ability to use a fireball to possibly kill off this guy. There it is. And our our healer is trying to make headway here. Another nasty hit for... Ooh, double poison going out. Not great. Oh, we missed again. Come on. That's unpleasant. Alright, another hit there. The silence is still going strong. Not great. And we failed a spell. Of course we did. Alright, um... Guess we're gonna use a weak mana potion. Just so when we're no longer silenced, we should be able to, in theory. Oh man, the poison is just nasty right now. There we go. Almost dropped him. Can we do it in time? It looks like we can. And now all we have to do is somehow drop this dude with spells or oh come on, we gotta stop failing. And this is again the third time here. We can't do anything with her. Oh, confused. Not great. I was planning on using some actual healing skills. Oh, she died. That's really, really unfortunate. Oh, and she's no longer silenced, but she's quite hurt. At least the heal went out. And the poison is there, and he's just going to walk around casually. All right, we're going to try a little bit of damage there. She's poisoned. Going to heal herself. Oh, he failed a spell. What? Finally. The shoe is on the other foot. Or the hand is on the shoe of the foot of the foot of the hand of the shoe. Alright. The poison not quite so bad for us. Gonna do that. The silence. Eh. I'd prefer him not to be silenced, but I suppose if we had no other options. We can walk within distance to actually do some smackitude. Throw out another heal here. I think we might have enough. Ooh. Thought we might have enough oomph, but that's pretty menacing and nasty. Oh, a big crit there. That's not bad. It's not so bad at all. All right. And I suppose another heal just to throw it out there. And then we're going to swap over to arrows. Oh, he's throwing out heals now. This dude thinks he's a freaking white mage and a dark mage all at the same time. Unacceptable. All right. And we can cast spells again and fail at them because of reasons. We've failed so many spells already, it's ridiculous. Insufficient spell points, alright. Throw out some Archerian skills. He's moving around weakened, that doesn't really affect us in any way. 
Okay, not so shabby. Pretty good spell there. And some Archerian skills. Come on, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Oh, sil did he silence himself? No, he silenced our Dark Mage. And there it is. We have defeated the Necromancer. And despite one of our individuals falling, in the end, eh, we did pretty good. We pretty much wrecked them there. I mean, they didn't... I'd say they didn't stand a chance. They hurt us quite badly, but I feel like we're slightly stronger than they were. That works out to our advantage, well, quite well, actually. And it doesn't appear like there's much in the way of treasure or loot in this room. That doesn't mean there isn't more elsewhere. Alright, so we're going to rest on this totally uh, harmless circle on the ground here. For two hours. It's going to cost us some food, but it'll be about 7 a.m. when we wake up. It'll be pretty good. We'll be digging live. We'll be like, mm, killed a necromancer last night. We're going to break into song. It'll be fine, guys. It will be fine. All right, there's a door. It's not locked. Oh, my God. Hello, mad treasure loots. And I can't loot any of this stuff? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can totally pick it up. Yeah. Oh, the codex. What does that do? I don't know, but I'm excited. All right, unfortunately, I have to actually manually click on all this stuff. What is this? Having to click on things. What in the world? Gosh. What are these game developers doing to me, man? What are they doing to me? All right. So we got the codex. Where did that... What is it? Ever since the murder of a beloved king, a Mallor, Mallory? Mallory? Sure. Uniter of the kingdom, at the hands of his own debauched son, and now king, Zevereth, the kingdom of Antharion has been ravaged by political turmoil. Zevereth's first act as king was to dissolve the council. His second was to sell off large chunks of the kingdom to rich noblemen who promptly and saved enslaved my goodness guys enslaved many of their inhabitants the order was a collective of adept magical enthusiasts who for centuries collaborated in secret to tame and refine their arcane magical knowledge severeth quickly became aware of the order's existence through the network of spies and immediately swore to neutralize them many of its members were killed by severeth's forces but others fled deep into the depths of long forgotten caverns some of the more masterful wizards even managed to magically construct artificial planes of existence to escape off into. In response, Zevereth began what would be, or be known as the Great Purge, sending his men from city to city and town to town to hunt down every last wizard. Well, that's interesting. The lock is insane. We cannot pick that. Okay. Well, I guess that's good to know. I feel pretty good. We, we've accomplished something. We've murdered a necromancer. I mean, that's got to be high up on the list of things to do. And there is the way back from whence we entered, I suppose. And we can explore out a little bit more this way. Because we did not get the full exploratory stuff done just yet. So, let's see what else is out here. It's open from elsewhere. So, apparently, there's another side to this dungeon that we haven't quite hit yet. So I don't mind looking around for a little bit longer, but we're running pretty low on time, so maybe not that much longer. Did I miss, like, a runic spot on the wall here or anything? No. Just want to make sure, you know, sometimes I miss things. It happens more more frequently than I'd like. Now, the part that was the real kicker, remember the first thing where I went into the basement and I wasn't able to figure out anything? The real kicker was... Did I... Was I able to select this thing? I thought I was able to. It looked like it got highlighted for a second there. Um, the, the video on Steam for the actual game, for Antharion, uh, or the, t the trailer teaser thing of the game, <laughs> it actually showed what to do in that very room, and I had to actually watch that, and somehow I still didn't know what to do. Oh, here we go. 20 lore, how close are we? I don't think we're very close at all, to be honest. I think our lore is pretty not good. It's only at 12, so, I mean, we'd need more than two levels before we'd get that or at least two if I pumped everything into it well I'd have to say that we've done a pretty good job exploring this we're gonna go through one more time looks like there's a few little spots that we missed I figured there were but once we're done with that I'm not sure where exactly to head after that but we'll we'll figure it out we'll move around we'll explore some of the topside stuff get into a few fights that maybe we avoided before All right, looks like my torch burned out Let's uh, whip out our axe and shield. And, oh, look, there is a thing here. That's a 8%. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We do not have the 8% luck to actually get that. That's kind of silly that I even tried. Oh, we just ran out of lockpicks, too. 
Well, that's not super good. Eh, we'll get a little bit more cash monies out of that whole ordeal. Alright. Well, that's that, I suppose. We killed a necromancer, cleared out most of the stuff. There's a few locked doors that we can't get into, but, I mean, short of that, and, of course, a hidden passageway that we can't get into due to the fact that our lure is just a little bit too low. But short of that, we, we, did some, we did some work here. We got some stuff handled, some stuff done. And apparently there's nothing in there. And I'm okay with that. I'm also okay with making sure we explore all of this. There we go. Alright, so we know that we need insane lockpicking skills to get through that. And I think we'll get there eventually. We'll, it'll probably be, I don't know, I'm going to say like four to five levels we come back here. We should be able to go through all the places that we are unable to get to before. And have them all handled and get all the fat treasure loots that we had to leave behind. So, my goal now is to get out of this, get back topside, and from there, probably break off the episode. And in the next episode, well, we'll figure out which way to roll, what to do, and hopefully advance the story a bit more. I mean, we've been wandering around aimlessly in a few dungeons so far, uh, the last couple of episodes. And as you see, finding the Codex was one of them, so that's not so bad. We actually did manage to finish one. I wasn't... Really, I didn't know finding the Codex was the thing I was supposed to do, to be honest. I had forgotten. It's been kind of hit or miss with uh, keeping track of everything in my mind, so I guess it's kind of good that uh, it's kind of good that we managed to finish this. This is the one with the 30 that we need to get behind the wall. All right. It's good that I managed to actually come back down here and find the Codex because I didn't know I was looking for it. Surprise! I actually want to read what the quest says, so forgive me, guys. After bringing a necrophil ear to the mysterious man in the seaside tavern in Estrillon, he asked you to venture into an underground dungeon just northeast of Estrillon to retrieve a book called The Codex that he says may shed light on just what happened in Shadowbrook. Alright, so the the new king has apparently sent off all his lackeys to murder people. I guess that's what happened in Shadowbrook. Anyway, let's go here and this is where I shall break off the episode. In the next episode, we'll turn in the codex and, well, we'll figure out what our next step is. Until then, hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.